what's up guys your boy spotlight 2k7 and we are back for a brand new grand f 5 real life mod video today we're gonna be doing some work for our trucking company ace trucking and we have a contract to pick up some wood from the lumber yard and deliver it down to the city so today we're actually going to show off a brand new truck by no other than bag customs guys check this one out this one is a kenworth w900 we just took delivery of it about a week ago and today is the first time that we are using it in a video so i really do hope you guys enjoy and uh let me know what you guys think about it bag customs did an amazing job on this as always let me know what you guys think if you guys do enjoy it make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button leave some comments down below and subscribe if you are new guys but major shout out to bad customs for this one it is available early access on his patreon page if you guys would like to check it out along with uh five other mods that are dropping for the month of august so if you guys would like to get early access to those definitely consider becoming a patreon to bad customs all right so let's hop in the truck i'm going to show it off a little bit here guys it does come with a couple extras so I'm just going to go into our menu here and let's see what we have. So we have two extras. Extra one puts this icon up here. Looks pretty cool. We'll leave that on. And then extra number two is going to be your uh, mud flaps over here, which, of course, we want to keep that on as well. And of course, you can also change the color so you can have like the bumpers chrome, which is how I currently have it. Or you can also black it out like how we did on the Peterbilt and then you have it like all black. Or you can put any color that you want, really. Very, very nice. Um, I think we got to go back to the shop. It looks like these three light bulbs are out. We got to go fix that. But anyway, let's, uh, I'm going to leave this chrome for now. Let me know what you guys like better. Should we make it chrome or should we make it all black? Let me know what you guys think. But for now, I'm going to leave it chrome. Now we do have this flatbed trailer. This is from the American Trailer Pack. And I'll link that down below in the video description as well if you guys would like to check that out. So we're heading up to the lumber yard. We're going to be picking up some lumber and transporting it to Mirror Park, I believe. i got to check the ship and manifest see exactly where we are going. It's kind of funny how this is like a, also a tourist trail as well. <laughs> I never really realized that until today. Alright, so there's the lumber yard. That's where we're going to be picking up the wood. And we'll drop it off. Okay, so we are here. They also have a lot of log trailers here, obviously they bring in all the trees that they cut down and process them. We did do an episode hauling in wood too a while ago, I forgot when, but maybe we'll do that again. So here's the lumber that I believe we're picking up right here. Looks like they got a forklift. I'm not sure if they're going to use, a, I'm guessing they're going to use a forklift to load us up. So I'm going to park right here. Hello sir, how you doing? My name is Ace. I'm here with uh, Ace Trucking and I believe I'm picking up this load of lumber. Yep. Oh, Alright, cool. You need me to do anything? Alright, you guys are good to go. Alright, so they're going to go ahead and load everything up. I'll just sit by and wait and uh, once they're ready, we'll hop in and head towards Mirror Park. You don't have to tell me. Alright guys, so it looks like they are done loading up the trailer. Let's put our phone away and let's get out of here. Alright, so we have everything tied down with the straps and it looks like everything is good. So we're going to be going all the way to Mirror Park. It's probably going to be a long drive. Oh, it wants me to go through here. Oh, that's interesting. I was going to take the highway. We could probably take these back roads. There's not really much traffic lights here, so 
I guess we could... I guess we'll take the back roads. I was gonna take the highway. That was a five mouse. Alright, well I can't do a U-turn right here, so I'm gonna head down towards the highway. I guess we'll see where we end up at. Yeah guys, hope you guys are having a good weekend. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. And if you guys have any comments or suggestions on anything you guys would like to see in this series or in another... Oh my god, <laughs> I just hit a bunny. <laughs> oh no. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions you guys would like to see, definitely let me know in the comments section. Alright. So let's see, where does it want me to go now? It still wants me to take these back roads. I'm pretty sure... Is this an actual road? I think this is a dirt road there. I feel like we should just take the highway. We could, we could, I feel like we should just go here and go all the way around and then go down and then come right there. I think that's what I'm going to do. So we're not going to listen to the GPS right now, guys. We're going to make our own way. This is probably going to be much longer, but eh, this should be okay. <laughs> it's crazy how that's scripted to happen like every time you drive past and the deer runs out of the road. Normally our cars drive much faster here. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be about 7 miles versus the 5 miles. But uh, it is what it is. Once we get past Polito Bay, we should be able to make up on our speed, make up on our time here. But I'm going to have to go around this Silverado here because he's just going way too slow. So this is the last light we gotta get through and then we are good. Whoa! All those trucks are just smashing into each other over there. We got another contract that we have to do in the next couple of days. We gotta deliver a harvester to a farming harvester. I gotta check the schedule and see what day we gotta deliver that. I wonder what truck we should use for that one. Excited for this two lane. I'm about to open this thing up. I wonder how fast we're going right now. I'm 
We are going 75. What is that tow truck doing? So we're coming up on our halfway point, 3.5 to go. I think I may stop at the uh, rest area and grab grab something over there too. That's another one that's always scripted to happen. <laughs> check the map though here because see it's going to take me this way which is faster but I kind of want to stop at the truck stop I mean this isn't really a truck stop it's like a little rest area that's going to add more miles to our trip but let's stop why not see how much time this adds to our trip or how many miles adds about a mile less than a mile because I was going about 80 back there. Okay, so this is where we're going to get off at. That's the rest area parking over there. I could have just pulled in for it, honestly. Probably should have just went in. Alright, let's back it up. It's kind of weird of them to angle it this way. I guess this is a two-way right here, I didn't realize. But it's pretty tight for a truck getting out this way, though. You know, we should do a video where we use, like, a truck with a sleeper and we stop at a rest area. Because there's some, there's a couple of rest areas around the map. Where you could, like, stop for the night, sleep for the night, and then wake up in the morning and get back to trucking. That would be pretty cool. Alright, so let's go inside and uh, I don't even know what I want. I'll probably just get something to drink and maybe uh, something light to eat on. I'll be watching you. Okay, that's all good. Uh, let's see what they have, what they have. I can't drink no alcohol, of course. What? I don't got no beverages besides alcohol. Nah, I guess I'm trying to stay away from soda. I'll, I'll take some of this fruit juice, I guess. So let's get that one. Oh, look, it actually spins around. I never noticed that. You guys knew that? 
That's cool. All right, uh, so we'll take that. Yeah, I'll buy that, sir. And let's see, what else do you have? All right, uh, dark chocolate with gooey core, energy bar, candy kids, and stoners love. All right, we'll buy a couple of those. All right, thank you. How much is that? All right, you got it. Here you go. All right, thank you. Have a good day. All right. So let's get back on the road. Looks like it's about to pour right now. I'm gonna try to drop this off before it starts raining. This is a really nice truck. We gotta get our trucking company going, guys. I mean, it's already going, but we we need to do some work with our trucking company. We've been so busy with the towing company. Let me know if you guys want to see some more videos with our uh, trucking company here. Okay, the GPS wants me to do something super illegal, so we're not going to listen. I'm just going to go out towards the right. What the heck does a GPS want me to do now? <laughs> Make a U-turn on the highway? Let me see something. Uh, we're coming from here. We can just take the next exit. East Vinewood and Mirror Park. That's where we're going. That was a pretty good drive though, it didn't take us too long. I'm actually happy I decided to go on the highway because it definitely saved us a lot of time. looking at my keyboard trying to turn off the turn signal.
what is yo come on man what are you what's wrong with everybody how do you not see this big giant truck with this chrome grill man oh my goodness don't don't hit my truck I literally just got this thing Yeah, we literally just got this truck and almost got into an accident already. gonna be the tricky part with traffic. What the heck is wrong with you? What is wrong with that guy? Like really where are what he is I'm about to call out cops on him. I'm about to report that. Dude w drove on the sidewalk. What is going on? That was worse than the guy in the Toyota. Ay 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 now my truck got scratched. We literally made it all the way here, and we got hit. That is crazy. Alright, well, let's back it up. So we have a construction company as well, but this isn't one of our construction projects. This has been going on for years though, this development. I bet you if we took it over, we'll have these houses finished in no time. All right, I guess I'll uh, park it up here and I'll let them unload everything. But yeah, that was a pretty good drive besides the uh, crazy people that nearly hit us. That was a pretty nice drive today. So it looks like they have this community they're trying to build. They have most of the houses frames up. Uh, I think these are going to be two-story houses though, so I guess they needed more wood. Which is why they had us bring all of this in. Let me look at this sign really quickly. Mirror Park Luxury Home, no deposit required, finance available, call this number, Wolfs International. Well, Wolfs, you guys need to do a better job. Y'all been working on this for years. Alright, well, we are done for today, guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the episode. I'm going to let them unload the uh, truck and trailer, and we'll head back to our yard. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit that like button, leave some comments down below, and subscribe if you're new. Also, make sure you guys check out Bag Customs' YouTube channel as well. I'll link it down below in the video description. You guys get to see some of the mods he is working on. Plus, you can follow his real-life series and a couple of other series that he has on his channel. And like I said, if you would like early access to this truck that we are using, definitely check out his Patreon page. I believe it's going to eventually be released public, probably like in a month or so. Not 100% sure, but um, yeah, I'll link his GTA 5 mods page so you guys can see everything that is released. And I'll, release, I'll link his Patreon page so you can see everything that is like work in progress. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.